Before a game, it's, it's a pretty stressful time. Game day, uh, I'm pretty much excited. I used to label it as anxious rather than nervous, so I put a positive spin on it. When the bright lights fade, I'm Melissa Etheridge. I'm Jake Plummer, played quarterback in the NFL from 1997 to 2006. After the bright lights faded, uh, I knew I would miss the game, miss it badly. But I also gave a lot of thought to my future uh, mental and physical well-being. Uh, found myself asking the question, was it worth it? And still to this day, I ask that question. According to a recent study conducted by the Department of Veterans Affairs in Boston University, 96% of former NFL players suffer from the neurodegenerative disease known as chronic traumatic encephalopathy. CTE is believed to stem from repetitive trauma to the head and can lead to conditions such as memory loss, depression, and dementia. Uh, my name's Tatum Bell. Um, played running back. Uh, played from 2004 through 2009. After the bright lights faded, I uh, went, went into my depression mode. Uh, I had, you know, I had two small kids at the time. I, I, I just had to, you know, get through it and be a, be a better father. Cause at that time I was just, you know, I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to play. I didn't want to go outside and throw the football. I didn't want to, I didn't want to do nothing. I they had to do anything with football or sports. Among retired players from the NFL who have a history of concussions, 40% have symptoms of depression, a rate nearly three times higher than that of the general population, according to research presented at the 65th Annual Meeting of the American Academy of Neurology. When you, when you read these stories and, and, and seeing these guys taking their own lives, like even the, the, the kid that was in Kansas City, he shoots himself in front of his coach and his, in, in, in the GM, like that's, that's just that's crazy, you know, like. So when you hear those stories and you think about like all the, the you know the pain and the stuff that they're going through and you're like yeah you know you 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 know you know it you know you you're you're like you can ask any NFL player like what they've been through and you could probably ask most of them have they have they thought about suicide you know and I'm sure a lot of them will tell you they have. A preventative solution for neurological conditions like CTE may exist in cannabidiol, better known as CBD a compound found in abundance in the hemp plant. CBD is non-psychoactive, non-toxic, non-addictive, and proven to stimulate the human endocannabinoid system, which regulates a variety of physiological processes, including pain sensation, mood, and memory. We've been smashing brains every day, and that does something to your head, that does something to your brain, and it's permanent. If players are given the opportunity to use CBD during the course of their career, it is possible we'd see a reduction in negative side effects from concussions and a decline in the presence of symptoms associated with CTE in current and former NFL players, as well as players at the semi-pro and collegiate levels. It's definitely scary to hear the statistics, to hear what they're finding about the game, to know that that's done, I've done that. The Realm of Caring is planning to begin research projects with John Hopkins University and other reputable research institutions to study whether CBD can aid both current and former NFL players by improving their health and the quality of their life. I look at what the future holds, I don't know. So that question looms, was it worth it? Because like I mentioned, your mental and physical well-being is much more important than laying claim to being a, a great quarterback or a great teammate or taking a team on a drive. So a lot of those thoughts when the bright lights faded were going through my head and even still to this day. We welcome the NFL, the NFLPA, current and former NFL players and sports fans around the world to join us in our mission to advance the research of CBD and find a solution for those who are at risk for CTE and traumatic brain injury. Together, we can work toward a better quality of life for past, present, and future professional athletes who are at risk when the bright lights fade. <laughs>